Hey everybody, so I wanted to show another, you know, how to hold the bow video. So we've got this bow again, and today I'm going to show you how to do what's called the Mongolian release, or the thumb release. Now there are tons of variations on this release, and I'm just going to show you guys one technique that I like to use when I do use the thumb draw. Now, first word of caution is that if you're a right-handed shooter, instead of putting the arrow on the left side of the bow, like you normally would, you are going to put the arrow on the wrong side. And the arrow is going to rest on your thumb. Now, the cool thing about this release is that if you shoot right-handed, you could actually use a left-handed bow with a shelf. That would allow you to do the same thing because when you're shooting three fingers, if I can demonstrate this, when you pull back, what you're actually doing, and most people do it, you don't even notice it, you're actually, your fingers, because of the way you're holding this, are actually twisting the string and consequently twisting the arrow to stay on the bow. Like this. So if you can see that. Now, if I were to put my thumb on here, because my thumb aims in the, goes in the opposite direction, my thumb would actually be doing this, pulling the arrow off. So, what you want to do is you go ahead you put your arrow on the opposite side. And so your thumb actually holds the arrow into place. Now, one of the cool things about this, I'll show you really quick how to do this. What I do is I take my thumb, and I don't quite go into the, the joint here. I go just a little in front of the joint, because I find that the string tends to get caught up on the joint. It kind of messes up the shot, usually. So go a little bit in front of this joint so that your thumb is still angled forward a little bit. And you want to bring your index and middle fingers. Sometimes just your index finger is sufficient. Uh, some people will actually shoot like this with your thumb and your middle finger and your index finger going up. I prefer using the index finger. So what you want to do is hold this up here, and what I, what you've actually done is you've locked the arrow in, so you can hold, you can actually shoot the bow comfortably like this, and you can see that my arrow is sort of defying gravity right now. So you can shoot however you want. You can shoot upside down. You can shoot upside down this way. You can shoot down. You can shoot. Oh, it can do whatever you want. And so basically, you want to mainly hold the bow right here with your thumb, with it resting on top of your thumb. And then you just want to draw back. So there are very different, very, many different variations on this. This is just my method. And uh, another thing I want to mention. When you first, I'm going to show you guys how to shoot this, but if you decide to just go out and start trying it out, if you're used to shooting on the opposite side of the bow, just note that your arrows are probably going to go further off in the direction that they're on. So, especially if you're using a PVC pipe bow like this, that has a lot of the archer's paradox, if your arrows were going that way before, they're going to be going that way now, and vice versa. So just keep that in mind because I have a friend of mine who every time he messes around with the thumb draw it's it's like clockwork we're at the range and he's like hey I'm gonna try that, that thing you showed me so he'll draw his bow up and he'll fire it and without fail he always hits the exact same lamp pole and I mean he gets within that much of his space there there's just a bunch of dents on that lamp pole showing where he hit so just keep that in mind, and just be safe. So, thanks for watching.